So the first step of nail shaping is actually to create your length and shape. I love to use the stainless steel nail clipper. It's super important for me to make sure that my composition and my shape is right on. So what I do is I draw an imaginary line down the center of the nail, and what I do to one side of the nail, I do to the other side of the nail. I start at one side of the nail, and I clip it towards the center. If I want a more dramatic shape, obviously we're just gonna move the clipper in a little bit further so that I get more of a pointed shape. And then what I do to one side, I do to the other, and then, I reduce my length. This is gonna help you from splitting the nails. Sometimes if you just go from one side to the other, it could literally split all the way across and you're not gonna be able to get that nice pointed shape. She already has an oval shape, so I don't need to take the sides down because we wanna keep those sides for straight. I'm literally just going to remove the length of her nail. So we'll just cut the tip and you can see how that gives us a nice even cut while keeping our shape to the sides. It's a little bit shorter. Now that we've determined the length of the nail, we wanna perfect our shape and we're gonna use our file to do this. Now remember this is dual sided. One side has a 180 grit and one side has a 240 grit. So for this, we're going to use the more coarse side. We wanna make sure that we protect the integrity of the nail and file in one direction. So notice how I just tie the sides in, leaving the length that we created, and then filing from the corner to the center, corner to the center. Again, drawing that line down the center of the nail. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. What we do to one nail, we do to all 10 nails. So we've used the 180 side of the file to create our basic shape. Now we wanna refine and perfect our shape using the 240. We're gonna go from our sides to our edges and then from the edge to the center just to get a nice, perfect, even shape. So there's our nail shape. Once I'm done shaping the nail, I always like to go back in with my dual end pushy and remove any dust and debris out from underneath the nail. 